So this is the second video in the uh, series featuring the Wandom ADAU1701 uh, kernel board from Sure Electronics. The ADAU1701 is a digital signal processor for analog devices. Lots of information available from analog devices about the chip. Lots of information from analog devices about Sigma Studio including a description of all the toolbox functions. So here we go. Let's uh, create a new project. So file, new project. Uh, left click and drag the ADAU1701 into the workspace. Left click and drag the E squared prom into the workspace. Uh, left click and drag the USBI interface to the workspace. You'll see that the background for the USB is now green um, from the get-go because the, uh, the interface is already connected and working. Just connect these two together. Um, okay, now we're going to be using the um, auxiliary analog inputs um, so we need to configure those as part of the uh, the chip configuration. So if we right click on the ADAU1701, go to register window, left click on that, and here we've got a picture of the um, the architecture of the device. The thing we're concerned with is the GPIO, um, and I happen to know that GPIO2 is an analog input, as is GPIO3, as is GPIO8 and 9. And you'll see that the different uh, labels ADC0 to ADC1, ADC2, ADC3 are connected to these different pins. These can all be found on the uh, analog devices datasheet. But you do have to cross-reference the datasheet with the information provided by Sure Electronics um, to make sure you know which uh, which potentiometer is which. Um, I happen to know that ADC0 is the uh, is the one at the bottom of the board on the left hand side looking at it with the USB connector on the top. But I've configured all of these inputs to be um, analog um, so it doesn't matter which one we use. We've got those four potentiometers on the board connected and they're now configured to be used as inputs as analog inputs. That is auxiliary analog, so it's not it's not music or voice. It's just um, a signal which is not digital. So let's close that window. Go to our schematic, and let's have a look. So we're going to need um, some inputs as before. So we'll get the input, which are the two uh, audio inputs to the board. Uh, we'll have an output, just the one for the time being, which is DAC0. Um, and I want to connect to volume control. So I'm going to start off from the volume controls menu. Single volume control. Like so. And I'm going to configure this volume control in the system. download that program okay so this volume control now is operated from the screen I've compiled and downloaded the program so that's into the processor and if I change the volume you can hear the music I'll turn it down the music disappears so that's fine as far as operating it from inside the program is concerned but not much help to us if we want to uh, use the external controls so I'm going to right click on this and delete the cell. And instead of that one, uh, I'm going to have a volume control with external control. So let's just close these down again so you can see where I'm coming from. Uh, so volume controls, 
adjustable gain, external control, and down here, single slew external volume control. I'm going to grab that and pop it up here and connect the blue to the green and the blue to the green. And now I've got an extra orange terminal on here. Um, and I'm going to control this volume control with the um, ADC0 input. Um, no, we don't want that one. GPIO auxiliary ADC, that's one we want. And I'm going to connect to the auxiliary ADC0. Both of these are orange. Okay, which will now give me control externally. So I'm now going to download that program. And bear with me, I'll just go and show you the the board. The video is going to go a bit peculiar for a second. Okay, so that's just the board. And if you listen carefully, as I adjust the potentiometer, volume goes to zero. Full volume. Okay, so our volume control is now working and functional. So how do we save that to uh, to the device? Uh, back to Sigma Studios. Okay, so this is our program. We've downloaded it. It's uh, it's running in the uh, in the DSP, but now we want to save it to E squared prom. So go back to the hardware configuration. Right click on ADAU1701. And this time we're going to go down to where it says write latest compilation to E squared prom. Left click on there. Um, everything is default on here. I squared C bus is what we're using. Um, so all we have to do is click OK. And it downloads it to the E squared prom. So from this point onwards, we can disconnect the uh, programming interface and the um, volume control externally will now work as the only control on the board controlling that one channel of music. If you want a second channel, we can grow the volume control. If we right click on the volume control, there's a setting equal grow algorithm and we grow it by one. Okay, which means we have now extra input and output. So we could now connect the second channel to the volume control. And we can find another output. The other analog output is here. TAC1. So we'll connect that to that, and that to that. Download it to the DSP. And that volume control will now operate both the left-hand channel and the right-hand channel. And that's the end of the second video.